What's up everyone? So usually Aragog here spends uh, like 98% of her time in her little funnel web but she just molted last week and so she's gone into feeding mode uh, even though I fed her two days ago, three days ago um, seems like she's hungry again because I've actually, oh I don't think I've ever seen her this far out of her little uh, dwelling um, let's see, so, I'm gonna set up my tripod, get a good shot of this feeding, cause last time I went pretty well, oh god damn, look how pretty she is. Alright, so I'm gonna set up a shot, let's see how it goes. Alright, so the last feeding I was all dumb and got my arm in the way, um, of the camera. So, I'm going to do another one, and hopefully that won't happen again. The lighting's kind of shitty because I'm using a flashlight, but whatever. Alright. Stay still. Nice. Fighting. <laughs> oh. Damn. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, um, I haven't done a video of all my pets, so I think I'll do a quick little tour. So right next to Aragog, we got Shelob, who's actually a Helob right here. He's full grown now. He just chills. Makes some webs every once in a while. I'm waiting to find a mate, unfortunately I don't have one for him. And then, newest addition over here, I got my queen, which is, uh, her setup is pretty, uh, MacGyvered. I got the, um, heat lamp hanging from an old pair of earbuds. <laughs> and this thing is propped up on a piece of wood, and this is a pair of black leggings block out the light to uh, recreate her subterranean habitat and then let's see um, she gets pretty pissed when she sees a light so let me see it. their first worker is actually hatching I saw earlier at least I don't know what the status is now um, So yeah, she's in a test tube. Um, it's pretty damn big. If let's see some comparison. That's my pinky. Um, kind of hard to see, but she's got her eggs and uh, larva right underneath her. Last time I checked, there were six and one worker about to hatch. But yeah, she doesn't like light, so I'll put it back. Feed her with some honey once a day by using that toothpick there. Oh, let's see. These are the um, termites I went and collected the other day. I feed these to her every, I don't know, every other day, every three days. Just for some protein. There's a big soldier right there. But, 
Yeah, there's still a little pack of protein. And, uh, let's see. I got a, uh, daring jumping spider in this little feeder bite thing. Where is she going? She's still growing. Per uh, probably get like twice that size. Just feed her on tiny roaches. I love jumping spiders, they're sick. And finally I got my colony over here. Roaches. Um, usually they're not all out here, they're usually hiding in these little spaces, but it's been cold from all the rain, so I turn the heater on and they're all just basking in the heat. Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> and they're big, but there's little tiny guys too. Mm-hmm, and that's it for now. We'll see what else I catch over summer. Oh, I forgot, I, uh, I keep this, this as a, um, just all the moltings of the tarantulas I have gives you a good um, size comparison. It really shows you how big they get after each molt. These two smaller ones here are Aragog, and this is um, the Salmon Pink Bird Eater uh, Shelob over here. Um, so, I don't know, for those of you who don't know, um, when spiders molt their cephalothorax, their uh, head region just kind of pops off and they crawl out. Those little holes are where the legs go. It looks pretty cool, I think. There's a thing um, from that molt. They get pretty big, as, as you can see. So I'm a little hesitant <laughs> to uh, handle this guy, because those could do some serious damage. Um, but yeah, this is... Um, uh, he came out of this molt that big. That was a dr the mold directly afterwards. So it's a pretty drastic difference. Uh, yep. And <laughs> that shows you just how fucking big Shelob is. Look at that. Huge. <laughs> Pretty good. No, no. 